radius itself was not a whole number. Using the distance formula, I found that the radius was equal to the square root of yada yada. That doesn't make sense to me. How do you use that? Like a number? It's a decimal. It's a decimal number. Okay. If you were going to graph it, you'd have to plug it into your calculator and do your best estimation. Like if I would have to graph it. You're not graphing it right now, okay? So when you take H and you put it right here in here for H and you take K and you put it in here for K and you take R and you put it in here and square it, all that happened was that it gave, took this away, okay? When we started with the equation of the circle and we were looking for the radius, this number is the radius after it has been squared. So what squared gives you 16? So the radius was 4. Okay. Here, in the equation of the circle, this number is the radius after it has been squared. So what number squared gives you 9? So whenever it's already in its standard form, that's its square. Yes. Okay. Write the equation of this circle. If the center is 2, negative 5, and the radius is 1 third, just Plug the parts in. Is there anything that needs to be figured out? Nope. No. No. Because to write the equation, you just need the center and the radius, and you already have it. So it's x minus the x coordinate of the center squared plus y minus the y coordinate of the center squared is equal to the radius squared. Well, what's one-third squared? One-ninth. So you wouldn't want to put one-third squared. You would put one-ninth. All right? So tonight on your homework, you are going to be writing equations of lines. So your answers will look like this. And so when you look at it and you go, well, I don't, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. To write the equation of the line, you have to have the center and you have to have the radius. If you've been given the center and the radius, then just plug it in. Plug it into formula. Into this formula right here. Okay? So you need to ask yourself, when they give you the information, you need to say, okay, do I have my center? No. Okay, well then how will I find the center? That's where you start. Then you say, do I have my radius? No. Okay, well then how do I find the radius? Well, what did I tell you at the beginning? If you're looking for the center, oh, there we go. If you're trying to find the center of the circle, what do you use? The midpoint formula, because that means you've been given the endpoints of the diameter. If you're trying to find the radius, what are you going to use? The distance formula. So to answer your homework questions tonight, what two things do you have to have? The center and the radius. And you use whatever you need to use to find the center and the radius.
And if the center and the radius is already given, then all you got to do is, excuse me, not that one, plug those things in. Okay? All right, tonight for homework. Page 429, 16 through 25, all.